But one of the things that we're really proud of that really started in 1967 was we, we build the entire coach in-house. We do source the engine and some drivetrain components, but in terms of the chassis, the body of the coach, all the cabinetry, all the flooring, uh, we all build that in-house and that allows us to really have the control over the quality, the control over the finish, and it's really worked well for us. We're really proud of that. Having the ability to construct it all in-house allows us to do is, if something does go wrong, the engineers who designed it are right in-house, the guys who built it are out right in-house, the, the guys who service it are right across the street from the manufacturing plant. So uh, that really allows us to respond to the customers. It really allows us to identify issues and get them corrected real time uh, in, on our production floor. something goes bump in the middle of the night, you reach out, you'll get a call back in 15 or 20 minutes, and it'll be actually be a tech uh, who, who knows about that system. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day here in Miami, Oklahoma. Today I'm hanging out at Newell Coach, and this is a really special coach behind us. Let me introduce you to Grant. Hey everybody. Grant, this coach really caught my eye. What are we looking at here? This is a 2019 Newell, custom built, special order for the customer. It's here on consignment. It's a beautiful coach, let's go take a look. I gotta show you guys is all of the detail work in the paint. You guys know how much I'm a fan of the cool paint jobs and Newell Coach has been really stepping it up with all of these different patterns that have kind of a ghosting within this pattern so you've got like a really light white and i don't know if the camera is even picking it up here but you've got like a bright white and then a almost a metallic white and then it goes up and as you get further up you can see the contrast more and more and this is even on the slide out like they're doing all of this crazy intricate detail work on the slide out uh, you guys have been stepping up your paint. What's going on? We have it. It's really driven by customer demand. Uh, we've really challenged our paint guys. We've, we've challenged our graphic designer. So we're doing a lot more intricate custom work, a lot more intricate hand done work. And uh, the customers have loved it. Uh, this coach uh, in 2019 at the time was definitely the most intricate paint design we'd ever done. I saw another coach over here. I'll show you guys a quick photo of the customers taking delivery of it. Some really cool paint jobs they're doing. This is a 2019. This is one of the newest. You guys are totally sold out of your new inventory right now. We have one show coach available, uh, which is in North Carolina right now. And then we have one coming off in about 30 days, but all of our new inventory has been sold. So this is one of the newest coaches you could buy. It is. What What is the uh, list price on this coach? I believe, you know what, I need to look that up. You asked that yesterday. I think it's 1.75 uh, million. This is what I really like is you've got different patterns going on. So you've got this pattern with all of the ghosting and then it's got a totally different pattern on the back of the coach. It just all ties together and really flows well. This is just a stunning coach. 1.75 all right well let's go uh take a look inside yeah and this coach in addition to the to the stencil work up there you can see some of the the really intricate hand done marbling within this stripe right here yeah a lot of different techniques on this coach absolutely and this new design so this is a porsche design the exterior, you guys work with Porsche design team? We do, uh, based in Austria. Uh, we've worked with them for 20 years. Uh, they, they really know our brand. They understand the design language we use and uh, they just knocked it out of the park on this new coach. I agree 100%. This is a frameless window and you'll see frameless windows on a lot of coaches, but notice how it's totally flush. That's tucked in there without a, a big uh, molding right here. That is a lot of skill and a lot of craftsmanship to make that work. And if you look closely at other motorhomes, you'll see what I'm talking about. It would be much easier to just mount a frameless window, especially this big of a window, but they cut everything out. And I mean, that's 
such a small gap, you've got no margin for error, and it just really looks nice. But these entryways in these Newell coaches are just so over the top extravagant. It feels like I'm like entering into a $10 million home here. It's all real carbon fiber. And I just did a factory tour video that should be coming out soon where it shows the whole build process. And that's the real deal. No pretendo uh, vinyl that you just put on the top. This is not a vinyl film. This is real carbon fiber. That's an expensive piece of decor work there, it yeah. Is. Wow, and I've got to point out, suede on the steering wheel, and you can notice the stitching, just all of those small details are what really go over the top. And then this entire cockpit area has that same carbon fiber and a huge screen here, big, about a 15 inch digital screen, I believe. That's correct. Nice, so. What's going on in here? So this was a really contemporary coach. Again, this was a custom order by the client. Um, it's got some really cool uh, features. I'm um, gonna start with a dinette. This is a one-off dinette that really design, was designed to match up with the exterior. Let me close this door real yeah. quick. So, and one of the awesome things about these coaches, you just press a button and it closes the door. Now is that an air system or how does that work? It is an air system with locks, so it'll close in and then it retracts up uh, with uh, against some basically block wedges, so it gets a nice tight seal. Automatic doors have been a signature for Newell's for years. I know everyone out there, RV owners, were always afraid of stuff breaking. I've got to ask, is there some sort of a manual override if for some reason that air doesn't function? There is, right underneath the step, there's a, there's a manual override so you can you can operate it as normal. Okay a diamond pattern in the couch and i don't want to touch this material but i can tell that's super high end do you know what kind of material that is it's a european leather uh, that this have a special treatment uh or oh it's leather yeah, oh it's wow leather. i thought it was cloth but uh, it's no, like it's, uh it's really durable it's wow. really durable but uh but it is really high end yeah and then that same material with a two-tone on these two recliners over here and is this some sort of a skin or what type of material is that? Uh, this know? is also a, a leather, uh, but it's a, it's got an embossment of an animal print. Okay, so it's not a real animal print. Correct. Leather with the animal print. Correct. <laughs> Designed to match up with the with the pilot and co-pilot chairs. Very cool. A lot of people out there can appreciate that. And then I'm, I'm assuming that this is the same thing where this is a leather. It's not a real animal skin. Correct. But more of a of a faux a a, of that print. Yeah. Uh, and what was the word that you used to make it look like that? Uh, embedded? Leather embossment. It's basically a leather embossment. Okay, so this has the leather embossment to give it that look. And I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Just yep. a really high-end look. And yeah, beautiful light. I've got to point out all the lighting. And I'm sorry, I know everyone wants to hear from you, Grant, but I just get so excited about all this cool stuff I want to point out to the folks. But tell us a little bit more about this coach and, and why Newell Coach is so special. Well, uh, to begin with, the design of this coach is just over the top. This customer elected to uh, leave out uh, the galley uh, window and instead has this incredible uh, kind of metallic chrome finish behind it. Gives you an extra shelf for storage areas. Uh, and of course, it's complemented by this beautiful underlit uh, counter. I was wondering what that was. I noticed, I was like, wow, that countertop is really popping and you can see the light underneath it. What kind of a, a wood is this on the cab? Just a super high-end wood. Yeah, oh. it's a it's a high pressure laminate. Uh, all our cabinets use uh, good uh, marine grade plywood, uh, but the explosion and design options and laminates over the last couple of years has really allowed us to do some really cool things with our coaches. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I don't know if you can see this pattern on the wood. And it's got a nice texture to it. You can really feel it. Yeah, wow. Really a rich high-end feel. Oh, this is cool. So people can just scan their phones on these barcodes? On, on, the, on the QR codes, right? And it'll take you directly to the, the coach on our website. 
Very cool, very cool. Yeah, and this is just one of the amazing coaches here. They've got a whole line of all these coaches. It would take me a week just to walk through all of these, but um, if you haven't already been on Newell Coach's website, definitely worth checking out just to see a lot of the pictures. I go check out just the pictures on the website sometimes. There's just some amazing coaches to look at. Um, one of the other uh, unique things about this coach is the tile they used. As you can see, it's extremely large format. They wanted uh, a very contemporary, almost industrial feel. And so uh, th this is a tile floor, but you, you can see how large the tile is. It was really trick to get it uh, installed, but it came out beautifully. This is something I haven't seen in any other motorhome, just giant tiles, and it just gives it a completely different feel. And then I also want to point out that this floor is completely flush. I can't tell where the slide outs start and stop because it's all just completely flush. Yeah, one of the things we try to do because we have these flat floor slides from Valid is line up our grout lines to where it really disguises the drop floor seam. So as you can see here, uh, this looks like one big piece of tile and while this looks like a grout line, this is actually where the slide drops down into the chassis. So this is a painting. Now, is this something that you get in-house or this is actually a real piece of artwork i can tell it it's really got the is. artist uh name there is that something that the owner the original owner picked out or did you do no that? part of our design process and part of our um supplier base is a custom artist uh to design custom works of art for each coach so we will send her samples of the exterior and interior color scheme and she'll uh talk with our owners uh, who've ordered the coach and develop a one-of-a-kind piece of art so very cool the unique part about uh the artist is she's actually a customer of ours oh very cool yeah just a great job with the design team and this looks like an area that you would put a coffee maker or something normally or it is they'll have a keurig or or a coffee pot um, they'll keep uh, their coffee, uh, you know, coffee samples in the drawer. It's just a nice little hutch. Absolutely, yeah. Nice, nice large countertop mm -hmm. space there, and it's just so beautiful with that under lighting. This is a totally different, but still just as cool. Yeah, it's a really uh, between the the textured black laminate that we have in the galley, and then this used for the wall systems and the and the. Uh, uh, the hallway here, it really offers a cool contrast. Yeah, every square inch of this is just over the top with that same style of artwork from the same artist that flows through the whole coach. And what is this on the wall here? Like this is a texture, like I literally that's something you would see in a five-star resort. What is that? It is, it's just, it's just a tile, uh, again, large format tile. But at night, particularly when the lights are low or you have your accent lights, you get some really cool shadowing effect uh, just because there's so much texture as a part of that tile. And Grant, whether you like it or not, you just did what they call the toilet <laughs> test. So my, my buddy Matt's RV reviews, so he does a lot of the more production stuff. Yeah. He sits in the toilet of every RV, really cool YouTube channel, but he does the, what's called the toilet test because a lot of the smaller RVs aren't comfortable. Yeah. I could tell, man, you could, there, there was plenty of room sitting on there. So <laughs> Grant Kernan did the toilet test in a new old coach. <laughs> I think Matt's RV reviews would approve. You so. saw it here first. Yeah, it's same, uh, just such a cool floor. This is something you would see in like a real high-end home. Every finish is just cutting edge. And not only just a high-end home, like a brand new design. Like this is all the latest and greatest design here that underlit stone countertop I, I just can't even explain how how over the top these textures are one of the unique parts about this floor plan uh, newell is known for having really large picture windows uh, but in the bedroom this customer really wanted to maximize their storage so we fixed the tv in the window and it added a whole assortment of new drawer and cabinet options below which one of the advantages of the, i mean it's got just a ton of storage yeah lots yeah. of storage here yeah. so and i like that when you open those it's completely lit mm -hmm. and completely finished with carpet from floor to ceiling and man the colors you guys used in this coach with all of this underlit stone and suede pillars here suede walls and then artwork i mean literally this this interior of this coach is a piece of artwork this is just incredible yeah this bathroom whoa walking into is uh 
I, this is one of my favorite flooring, uh, bathroom floorings we've ever done. Yeah, I agree. And, and I'll, and I'll add to that, all of your bathroom, is there a reason that you guys have different, it seems like the bathroom flooring is always kind of over the top, really nice flooring. Is that something you do in every coach that you just go over the top in the bathroom? Or? I think, I think the bathrooms present us an opportunity to really push the design. And our design team has always, whether it's backsplashers or flooring, they really try to take advantage of that space. Oh, they really do. And that same stone that I keep talking about that's underlit. And I'll point out all of this lighting around the sink and just a really, really cool design on every surface. Yeah, I might be able to turn off the actual main light so you can kind of see what it looks like with just the accent lights on. Yeah, wow. And a huge shower here. I mean, that's got a, a bench seat and a lot of these showers will have like just a little bench. I mean, that's a full, that's at least a foot and a half to two feet, just a ton of space. And I really like that they use the same tile floor in the bathroom as the shower, just gives it a really nice feel. And that's a steam shower. So if you'll notice, it's all sealed around the shower. Uh, even, even, uh, oh, yeah. even have a gasket, so. Um, so they'll turn on the steam function, get a really nice sauna uh, steam effect, and then of course it's got the uh, the fan uh, in there, so it'll it'll vent it all out. That's just another level. Come back here, take a nice steam after a hard day's work. Now, how much does the option to add the steam shower? How expensive of an option is that? It, it depends on the tile and the exact hardware they want, but it's a um, particularly the way he designed it. He wanted to be able to see it in on both sides, so uh, so we had to engineer a special glass rather than just the wall system. So uh, so it was an expensive option. A uh, ballpark, hundred grand, fifty grand? No, probably uh, twenty to twenty-five. I think. Okay. Yeah, but. I mean, to have a steam room in your shower, that's that makes sense. Yeah. And this coach is pre-owned now, so somebody could get that value at a at a fraction of the cost. They, huh? they will. Yeah. They will. What kind of equipment powers this? Uh, Allison 4000 transmission, what's the power plant in it? It's a Cummins IX. It's got 605 horsepower, um, 1,950 pounds of torque. It's really the highest... Uh, horsepower available for a diesel pusher today. The combination of the of the Cummins engine with our ZF suspension and the Allison 4000 transmission, it's really a, a, a great combination for your drivetrain and one our customers have been really happy with. I think one of the things that we have because we can source our own chassis components in addition to the higher horsepower is we have a rear steerable axle. So uh, what that means is when you turn your wheel, your steering wheel all the way to the left, the rear tag axle will turn all the way to the right. What that allows you to do is have a much tighter turning radius and really improves the maneuverability of the coach. One of the things that we're really proud of that really started in 1967 was we, we build the entire coach in-house. We do source the engine and some drivetrain components, but in terms of the chassis, the body of the coach, uh, all the cabinetry, all the flooring, uh, we all build that in-house and uh, that allows us to really have the control over the quality, uh, the control over the finish, um, and it's really worked well for us. We're really proud of that. One of the other uh, really respected parts about Newell is our service effort. Um, we have a, a team that's got a ton of tenure. Uh, we pioneered the 24-7 call support. Uh, and when we say 24-7, we really mean 24-7. We got guys that are uh, monitoring that line. Something goes bump in the middle of the night, you reach out, you'll get a call back in 15 or 20 minutes, and it'll be actually be a tech. Uh, who, who knows about that system and can get you uh, can get you started on the right path. I've actually caught one of your customers can vouch for that, uh, Mark Martin. I did an interview with him. I'll make sure to leave a link to that interview in the description below. But he said he called you guys like one o'clock in the morning on an Easter Sunday, and someone called him back in 15 minutes, got him going. And there's a lot to be said about that. Just just to have someone there, just to answer the phone and kind of walk you through it, just carries its weight in gold because. As, as an RV owner myself, I've been out there on the side of the road, don't know who to call, don't know how to talk to them. Just, to, just someone to give me a little bit of guidance definitely will, will make life a lot easier. And Yeah, a lot of times the questions are, are, are simple questions, but these are complex machines nowadays. So uh, having someone who can point you in the right direction, give you a reminder about 
uh, about how to get the function working correctly is really important. And frankly, our guys uh, take a lot of pride in the fact that they help our customers. So uh, uh, there are some customers that are a little scared to use it, but we always encourage them if they have a problem to give us a call. Sometimes they just need a little moral support. So yeah. they need, yeah, that's right. Sometimes <laughs> they need a hug. And we'll provide that for them. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, Grant, I can't thank you enough for taking the time. I know you're busy. You, you guys are moving coaches a lot going on here so greatly appreciate you taking the time to show me and the folks on youtube this beautiful 2019 newell coach i don't think this is going to sit on your lot for very long because with this design this is really cutting edge one of the coolest motorhomes i've seen if someone's a serious buyer who should they get a hold of uh, they can call here ask for pat dwyer he's our uh, vice president of sales or any one of our sales managers and they can tell you all about this coach and uh and start the process i greatly appreciate all of you out there liking these videos and subscribing to the channel also make sure to check out newell coach's youtube channel they've got some great videos they recently did one explaining their whole new cockpit mod of uh, cockpit updates that they've done for the 2021 year is it correct awesome yeah yeah i'll make sure to leave a link to their channel in the description below definitely worth subscribing to them i greatly appreciate all of you and i hope you're all having a great day thanks again thanks everybody